What up guys, Brown here, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to do a high gain head shootout. I have six of them, all wired in my rack so why not? See if you can guess what each head is. Just a disclaimer before I start this video, so all amps sound different and your personal best might be the best to you but it might not be the best to someone else. And the way that I see amplifiers is that they all have a purpose, they all have a time, they all have a place. So. The, the purpose of this video is not which one's better, which one's worse, just can you guess which one is which? Um, there's so many factors that go into play for the different sounding amps. Not only do they sound different because of their circuitry and stuff like that, but the sweet spot for the mic will probably be in a different place of each of them. So I've put the mic in one place, I've recorded all the amps through that one place, and you're going to guess which one's which. So today, as far as equipment, I'm going to be using my Minas Devel Q Series guitar six string in Springbrook. Um, it has bare knuckle nail bomb, ceramic nail bomb in the bridge, and that's the only pickup I'm using, so it doesn't matter about the neck. It's tuned to Dad Gad, but in C sharp. Um, and then I'm going directly into the Ampi 88S amp cab switcher. As far as amps go. I have the Ampi 1, which is a German-made amplifier from Cologne. Some of you probably haven't heard of it, but it's a great sound and head. I have the Hughes and Kettner Triumph Mark III, the EVH 5153, the 100 watt version, the Laney VH100R, another 100 watt head. This kind of sounds like a JCM 800 on crack. Then I have the Synergy SYN2 preamp with the 5050 power amp. I'm going to be using the Soldano module only. And I also have the Mesa Boogie rectifier preamp, which will be into the other half of the Synergy. So those two amps, the last two will be 50 watts each. Whereas the rest are, well, actually, the Hughes and Kettner is 150 watt, but only on 100 watt mode. And then the other amps at 100 watt of all tube power. They'll all be going through the same cab, a Mesa Boogie oversized 4x12, mic'd with an SE Electronics VR1 Voodoo ribbon mic. That'll be going into a Stam Audio 1073, which will be going through my Zoom UAC8 into Steinberg Cubase. As far as EQ goes, I'm going to put a filter on the top end and the bottom end just to bring it into guitar territory so we get rid of that horrible low end rumbling and the top end scratching. I'm also probably going to do a dip somewhere else just to get rid of the sound of the mic as well, probably around somewhere between 3 and 5k, I can't remember exactly where it is. I guess we should just get started, so I'm going to play the same bunch of riffs for each amp, so see if you can guess which one is which, so let's just start randomly, let's go there. <laughs>
number three. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. So next amp.
Now I'm going to see how well I know my own amps. I'm going to get my girlfriend to come and press a couple of buttons and see if I can guess it with my back being turned. So let's have a look. So my lady's here. She's going to be pressing the buttons. <laughs> do you remember how to do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we'll just go from there, woman. Uh, I'm ready to go whenever you are, lady. That's got a really hi-fi sound, so I'm going to guess that it is amp number two, the Hughes & Kettner Triamp. Yeah. Cool. So I know the sound of that one. It's a good start. <laughs> All right, number two. It's between one of two amps. It's either amp five or amp six, the Synergy or the Mesa. I'm going to go with the Synergy. No. Which amp is that? Mesa. Oh, wow. So that was the Mesa Boogie. <laughs> I got that one wrong. God damn it. All right, next one. Is amp number four the Laney? don't know what one that is. It's either one or number five. So it's either the Ampi or the, or the Soldano Synergy. I'm going to say amp number one, Ampi. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Next one. That's the EVH, amp number three. Oh, it's number five. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Next one. Maybe don't, because obviously the next one is the last one, so maybe give me something else. Okay. So that I trick myself before I find the next one. <laughs> I know what one that one is. Okay. Try a different one. Is that the Mesa Boogie? Yeah. Okay. Do another one. Is that the EVH? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Do, do three more with one of them that we've not done yet. And then two others. We've done all of them. No, because we haven't done the Synergy. Yeah. Have we? Yeah, because you've got it with the Synergy. Oh, yeah, it's true. In that case, then just give me another three and two. <laughs> okay. Right. You ready? Yeah. Uh... I already know that I one. I know. <laughs> it makes a noise before it turns on. That's the Hughes Encounter. Yeah. 
sounds like the synergy. Yeah. Okay, one more. Is it the Mesa? Mm-hmm. What? God damn it. So I don't know the sound of all my own heads. The main reason that I knew what the Hughes and Kettner was is because it's got the noise gate on, which was a very big giveaway. Should have probably turned that off. The reason why I knew what the Laney one was is because it makes a noise before you switch to it. When it comes to a couple of the other ones, it was definitely guesswork. But with the e- well, I should have got the EBH every single time because it has a very unique sound to it. So there you have it. This was just a, a really fun exercise, just to see the difference between all amps. I don't really turn them all on very often. Um, maybe I should do it more often. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's cool. Like every amp had its own thing going on. Um, to me, as I said earlier, like to me, there's not really a better or worse. It's like does this work in this situation? Um, they all had something about them that I liked, they all had something about them that maybe could have been a little bit better on my EQ um, and obviously when you have time to play around with mic positions and all that sort of stuff then that can dramatically change what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.